Okay guys, welcome to our screencast. We're going to be talking about some different types of photosynthesis. I know you thought you'd learned uh, all there was to do about photosynthesis, but there are a couple of different types we're going to look at. Um, C3, C4 and CAM photosynthesis. And um, although these are really complex uh, reactions, we are just going to have a look at the summary of the differences of some of these reactions. Now these different reactions are adaptations for photosynthesis and as you know from studying adaptations they can be uh, structural, uh, physiological or behavioural and, and they can occur in both plants and animals. And the adaptation we're looking at here is a, a physiological adaptation in plants. That's how the reaction actually happens in the cells. Now photosynthesis is, is all about the sun uh, and capturing that light energy from the sun. And when, when this happens uh, we, have a, um, we have a problem. Um, because carbon dioxide is needed for photosynthesis and that gets in the stomata through the leaves in through the, in through the tiny pores and when those stomata are open for the carbon dioxide to go in uh, we often have a loss of water and, and that's through transpiration when the stomata are open to let the carbon dioxide in we have the problem that the plant can lose water and the adaptations in photosynthesis are for the plant um, to get around this process by, by ad adapting the chemical reaction that occurs. First let's look at C3 plants and, and these are most, most types of plants and they're called C3 plants because um, the first c compound they form in, in this stage of photosynthesis is a three carbon molecule. And the, the problem that happens is that quite a lot of the carbon dioxide um, that's taken in by the plants is actually lost because this enzyme also reacts with with oxygen and this is fine in mild conditions where the, the stomata can stay open um, day in day out and, and the, the carbon dioxide can easily get into the plant and water loss probably isn't a big issue. So let's look at C4 plants and um, two great examples of C4 plants are maize and sugarcane. So they're called C4 plants because the first molecule is, is a carbon molecule um, and it the benefit here is it doesn't react with oxygen like in C3 plants. Um, so this means that the trapping of the carbon dioxide is a lot more efficient and the stomata don't need to be open. In C3, in C3 plants um, the, the stomata needed to be open for such a long time because the carbon dioxide, um, the trapping of the carbon dioxide wasn't too efficient. Whereas in these plants they can, they can just open them for short periods of time because they've got a really efficient way of, of trapping that carbon dioxide uh, by creating this four carbon molecule first. Uh, I suppose the only real downside is it uses a little bit more energy but certainly when it's hot um, it's an adaptation for these plants and they're a lot more efficient um, in, in overall photosynthesis and, and their survival um, by using this method. So just look at uh, C4 plants in a little bit more detail. It's that four carbon molecule is created from carbon dioxide and that happens in the mesophyll cells of the plant. And that molecule is then transported to the sheath cells of the plant and that's where it's converted to a, a, a three carbon molecule just like um, C3 photosynthesis and the, the process c continues very similar to uh, what you'd see in a C3 plant. An alternative adaptation that plants have um, to hot conditions uh, is being using CAM photosynthesis and some classic examples here are a whole, whole range of cacti and, and desert plants and pineapples and that again it works well in hot conditions but particularly in dry conditions uh, and this is well suited for plants that only open their stomata um, at, at night time. Uh, during the daytime it's just too hot for them to have their stomata open and to be losing all that water through transpiration through the stomata. So the way that they uh, undergo photosynthesis, at night time they have the stomata open, they take up as much carbon dioxide as they can and they convert it into a four carbon molecule which, which is stored. In daytime the stomata close and this four carbon molecule is, is then used in normal uh, C3 photosynthesis and the plant pretty well goes through the same process.